I picked up this mp3 player for my daughter. I figured it would be a good Christmas gift for her. Um, she can put music on it, photos on it, you can have movies on it, you can also record your voice. Now I'll show you on this, it's kind of a little tricky at first to get it to turn on. But you push the center button, it turns it on, it just says you get your welcome screen. To go through the screens, here's the music screen, you use your side arrow screens, there's movies, record, voice, FM radio, photo, setup, ebooks, so you can put ebooks on this, and again we're back to music. Now if you want to select one, we're going to go ahead and go to the radio right now. You have to push the menu button to select it. And once the radio comes up, see if it moves a little closer, you can go ahead and you can select your channel. We have it on 93.3 right now because that's what works in our house. Now here's a few things I'm going to say about this. It does take a mini SD card and it goes here in the top. With that mini SD card, you can't put the movies or music or pictures on this while it is in this device. I hooked it up to my computer and it did not recognize this device. Um, in order for me to put the, the videos on it. So I would have to put the mini SD card in my computer, put the music, the pictures, or whatever I want on it, onto the mini SD card, and then put it in this device. It does have a nice, strong charging cord here, and it has a nice set of headphones. The headphones do plug in kind of hard, but they work. The only other downfall with the headphones is that if I unplug the headphones, I get no sound at all from this. They have to be plugged in. And I'm going to put the headphones up there, turn up all the way. I'm going to put them up to the video to see if maybe in this video we can get any sound from it. You might only be hearing background noise or background sound from it, but the radio is pretty decent once you get it to turn on. Um, again, the only downfall is that you do have to put the music or whatever on this before you install the mini SD card because it has no memory of its own at all, which is kind of a downfall to it. I expected it to have at least some bit of memory for a few songs. Um, you can check different things on the radio though, different channels, volume settings, etc. And the radio does work without the SD card, just the rest of this does not work without the SD card. So that part of it's not the greatest. And then as you can see from doing this video, the screen does not stay lit up very well or very long. Even when I had a SD card in here with pictures, it still did not stay up lit very long. So I'm not sure yet how it would do with movies as I have not downloaded any movies to an SD card to put on here. But once I do that, I can go ahead and update this review on how well it does with movies.